Field shortening up now with a tying run at second. The pitch. Breaking ball hit in the air to left center field. And it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. Looking in saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? Now a ground ball towards the hole, and he'll let it fly from deep in the hole. Throw will not be in time, so good hustle there is now the possible tying run is aboard. On the first pitch, Derek Jeter homers into the right center via bleachers. It's been a hundred years of baseball and counting at this place, and the charm hasn't faded a bit at venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. Miller has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. And the runner, not tagging, will return. Chris Miller. Miller. Yeah, Out in front as he yanks go this hard, down the hard, line at hard. first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Miller has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. Now, this is a real... Chris Miller, check on Fowler, now here it comes. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody Break out. out here. Let it fly, let it fly, right here. Oh, this ball's hit hard to left, and this is going to be trouble as that's down for what should be extra bases. Fowler scores. Two runs have scored. Chris Miller. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Chris Miller. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Adams is there and the side is... Swing and a fly ball to straightaway left. And the eighth inning begins with a fly out. Quickly one away. Chris Miller. Yeah, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. See you later, St. Louis. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he'll put this one away without much trouble, and the Cubs. One of the strangest finishes you'll ever see. Results in the fifth no-hitter in Marlin history. How many pitchers have celebrated a no-hitter? Downtown San Diego and Petco Park on a Thursday night. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. Chris Miller will stand in now, hoping the to... Inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. And he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. And a fastball here is swung on and lifted in the air to left. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Chris Miller. Yeah, and it's already walked a few guys, so make them throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. And he didn't quite get all of it as this is lifted in the air out towards left center. And the catch made by Quentin out there for route number two. Chris Miller. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. Maxwell is going to have room out there. Hey, load up here. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Miller will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Chris Miller. So after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. This one here is for the second baseman, Jerko. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Back onto the field. 
how majestic was that? It's a shame that it hit that catwalk because I would have loved to see how far. And the no hitter and perfect game are gone. So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. Here you go. See it up. Let it fly. This one here is for the second baseman, Jerko. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. We had to wait. It was the played umpire making the call. Hello, yes. From the rejuvenated gas lamp quarter in downtown San Diego, MLB The Show has baseball from Petco Park. And before we get much further, here's a look at our starting lineups tonight. Chris Miller. Running that pitch in on the guy's hands, he's going to be fine. And here's a fastball that swung on and lifted down the left field line. Low is over to his right, and he puts this one away for out number two. Chris Miller. That he let that one go. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Tries to go the other way with a curveball as this is in the air to left field. Miller is there, and he'll make the catch. This is hit sharply to the left side, and that's in there. Base hit. And he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate, and with that, the inning is over. Chris Miller is. Can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Throw on to first, two gone, six. Now a slider that swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Miller comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the... Line hard, deep into left. Miller is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. You know. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. And oh, it took off a bit, but he's able to run. Chris Miller. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two to second for one? to Alonzo, but it won't be in time and they'll just get the one. And the Dodgers lead 4-3 to three on a two-run home run by Juan Uribe. Will Venable. He hits one high and deep into right center field. Rain falling here at game time as it's time for baseball at Petco Park in San Diego. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. Chris Miller, if they can keep this inning alive. And this is taken for ball four, so it's a two-out walk. Chris Miller. Now, he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Uh, not fooled on the changeup there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that will find the seats, a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field, number 10 for him on the year. And the Cubs have taken a 3-0 lead. Well, this is a pitch he'd love to have back. You can see where it is. Catching way too much of the plate. Now he's going to have to start this inning over from scratch, but with already three runs on the board. Chris Miller will come in now to lead too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. And another not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Oh, and he goes the other way with a fastball. He drives it out to deep right center field. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And the second run will score as this suddenly is now a 7-0 ball game. Chris Miller. Hey, come on, guys. Let's go. We got to hold him right here. Now a check swing here and a little looper. Semyon takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. Chris Miller will stand in now. Five. 
struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout in the play at first. Now a slider that swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Miller will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Well, it's just an easy fly ball in a game where they're running out of outs. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Miller is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Now the 0-1. Swing and a high fly ball. Right center field. Get out of here. Summertime by the Bay. AT&T Park in San Francisco. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. Chris Miller will dig in for the first time. There. You can't go down looking here. You've got to. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. That's a... Oh, and he turns on a fastball here and drives one into deep right center. And that ball is out of here! Chris Miller. Castro leads off second, the pitch. Ball hit on the ground here for the first baseman belt. And he'll step on the bag himself. And, he... and he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. Miller has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Chris Miller. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Gets for one. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double. Chris Miller. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right, and that's... Center field, that's going to split the gap and go to the wall. One run scores. Here comes Carrera. He'll score. They're waving Michael Young home. And they win it 4-3. to three. A strike away and out away is Homer Bailey. Ground ball to third. Frazier gloves. Throw to first. And Homer Bailey for the second time in his major...